Okay, welcome back with more Chronicles of a Dark Lord. Episode 2, War of the Abyss. And uh, we, some bad shit went down here, and here we are with Shara, Ariadne, and the Dark Mistresses. You saw it too, then. We saw it from the viewing sphere in the tower before the energy faded. I knew this day would come. The Great Destroyer itself loosed upon our world. We must confront it. Shara, that's suicide. We can't stop that thing. They're right. There's just no way. I would take some. It would take some serious firepower that we just don't have. What about the remnants from the tower? We can see about using that weapon. There was only enough power left within the remnants for that last shot, Shara. I tried to contact them again, and I got no response. Whatever power was left is now gone. I refuse to simply bow down and allow this thing to destroy us all. There must be a way. There might be a way. An extremely remote way, but... What is it? Even the slimmest chance is better than waiting around to die. Your son has a flying ship now, am I correct? Yes, it was recovered from some ruins near Senefaria. What can one ship, even a flying one, do against something like the Great Destroyer? Good question, Shara. I'd like to know where this is going myself. We all know that even the most powerful energy cannons would be futile against Apollyon. The only hope we have is to reactivate the Inferni Diadem and combine it with the power source aboard, ab aboard the Dark Lord's flying ship. That ought to provide more than enough power to enhance the ship's energy cannons to the point of inflicting damage upon Apollyon. Or... Or what? Or the fusion of the diadem with the ship's power source will produce a devastating explosion that would incinerate the ship, and the ensuing shockwave would kill thousands. That would not be a good thing at all. Do we have any other options? As I see it, none. Except to surrender this world to Anto and willingly become part of the Abyss. That's a definite hell no. Then it is decided. The four of you will need to find my son and bring him here to meet with me. I thought you wanted to avoid that, Shara. I did. But now is not the time for my wants and desires. Ariadne cannot leave my protection while she is here, and so that means we must bring him here. We will return shortly. Be well, Shara. We'll be fine. Bring my son here as soon as you can. Soon, I'd count on it. Shara, now! Krika! Where am I? You're in the village of Rakaltra, Kadar. Breathe. You're in no danger here. Rakaltra? How? I, I remember being in the Abyss, and... You were undergoing Scytherins, but it was not yet complete. Anto had you under his influence for a long time, Kadar. I remember you. You're General Ariadne. Listen to me, Kadar. I am not your enemy. I am assisting your grandmother and your father against Anto and his forces. My grandmother? Yes, you are my grandson. It is... It's good to finally meet you, even under these circumstances. This is too much. Luckily for you, Shara knew the spell to seal your abyssal essence within you. Within me? It's still there? For now, until Anto is killed. I see. I remember now. I was sent here to kill you and take the diadem. I know. I knew Anto was going to send you when Abydos failed to kill me first. I've... I've done so much against the world. I gave Zelonia to the Abyss. Most of what you did was due to Anto's corruption, but not all. Your feelings towards your father and your mother served as a means for Anto to control you. I understand. My mother is dead, but my father... I still feel resentment towards him. He defeated his own father. Why can't I do the same? I'll never understand this mutual animosity between the fathers and sons of the Lee family, nor do I care. We have far more pressing concerns at the moment. I see that not only did you fail, Kadar, but they've made you soft. They helped me come to my senses, you bastard. Going to try again, Abydos? Those pesky elemental mistresses are gone. You three pose no challenge to me. Hand over the diadem and I will make your death swift. Do you seriously expect us to comply with your demands? Not at all. I expected to have to take the diadem after wading through several severed limbs and pools of blood that were once your bodies. There's no way that's going to happen. I will avenge my mother here and now. I've been waiting for the chance to take you on, Abydos. I'm going to show you just what the Mother of the Dark Lord can do. And we got a battle! So here we are controlling Shara, Ariadne, and Kadar. 
Alright, let's hit him with Maython. He's got a lot of hit points, but he's not that tough. Okay, uh, Void Slice. Actually, I should have used the vines on him, though, come to think of it. Um, mm, let's try Slash. It's the best way to go about it. Kadar's the damager, he's got high strength. Ignis Force! So he's not protected himself against Flame, which is not a big deal since I'm not using Flame here. Um, I'll have Ariadne play Heal Monkey. Securus. Plasma Void. Shara's just in danger. Let's see if I can get her back in the game. There we go. Alright. Fire Vines. There we go. Now his magic defense is down. Alright. Maython will do more damage now. There we go. It's a little bit more like it. Void Slice level 2. Oh, he missed it. Oh. It's okay. Purchase Force. So now he's protected against ice. Plasma Void. Luckily, I'm using Thunder, so that's why I started with Maython. Alright, try not to miss Ariadne. There we go. Very cool, he's almost dead. Ooh, it's okay. Here comes Maython. Alright, that's a win. Shara reaches level 16, and I got two level 4 wisdom scions. Ah, enjoy your victory, it won't last. Your resistance is completely futile. No, you're not going to escape me. Ariadne, no! Didn't she have the diadem with her? No, I have it. She gave it to me to keep safe in case something like this happened. Will she be all right? I don't know. I hope so. We've got to destroy those damn teleporters, or things like this will keep happening. Let's hope your father has attained what is needed to do just that, Kadar. My father. I know there is a strong part of you that feels resentment toward him. It's something that dwells within all Lee males, what they, that they must defeat their father when it's their time. I do want to face him one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm willing to wait until this war is ended. Good. You're already sounding better. We ought to talk, Kadar, before your father and his comrades arrive. I'd like that, Grandmother. Alright. Now that we've obtained the Revenoth's blood, we can begin destroying the Abyssal Teleporters scattered around the world. And that should stop their incursions? From what Ariadne has told us, I would surmise that's mostly true. At the very least, it'll prevent them from entering our strongholds and prevent their assassination attempts. We can't let what happened to my mother happen again. We won't. So, when do we leave? It is not as simple as that. The Teleporters must be destroyed simultaneously. We have the Arcanist, so why not just drop a few of us in each teleporter with a vial of blood? That's a really good plan, Anduin. I have my moments. What say you, Majors? That plan has merit to it, Anduin. Now the only question is, how do we time this so that we all pour our vials simultaneously? Damn, that's a good question. May I speak, Emperor? Shut your damn trap, Riggs. Josiah, I got an idea. Permission granted, Sir Riggs. Speak aloud your thoughts. Thank you, Emperor. What about the Elemental Mistresses? What do they have to do with- Oh! Oh, Riggs, that is genius! Someone want to tell me what the hell they're talking about? Thank you, Lady Aubriel. What I mean is this. We know that they're on our side, right? We also know that they can communicate with one another over vast distances. Due to their bonds with one another- Oh, I see where you're going with this. Yes, Commander. My plan is to have each party be partnered with a particular Elemental Mistress. That way we can be absolutely sure we're in sync. I have to say I'm impressed, Sir Riggs. 
More like pleasantly shocked, at least for me. Good work there, Riggs. Mm-hmm. Brains and brawn, you're completely... You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you, Riggs? I can't wait to, uh, find out more. <laughs> Indeed. Then that is what we shall do. We just need to contact the elemental mistresses. Or they could just appear. Ask and you shall receive. You have fortuitous timing. Alluvia, translation please. What in the blazing hells does fortuitous mean? It means our arrival here at this particular time is a welcome one. Wait, why are you asking me? You're the smart one here, remember? Uh. Anyway, we've come here to tell you all something rather important. We need you all to head for the Recultra region immediately, Dark Lord. You're, uh... Oh, just out with it already. Your mother, Lady Shara, is there and waiting for you. What? My mother? Yes, and we're here to tell you that you need to go see her. I see. That and Ariadne has come up with a plan to put the herd on Apollyon. Apollyon? Apollyon is unleashed? When? How? The legendary beast that destroys whole cities. Apparently they didn't know. You think? Tell him, Aluvia. Apollyon was just unsealed a little while ago. We're assuming the Abyssal Lord is responsible. That's a safe bet. It's slowly but surely heading for the Mirror Territories. I see Anto's plan. He wants to obliterate Kazarath and Ilion all in one stroke. We can't let that happen, Magus. I'll be damned before I allow any harm to come to Ziara. Hold on, all of you. The Mirror Territories can be saved if Ariadne's plan works. What sort of plan is this? This is why you need to go to Recultra and see your mother, Dark Lord. Ariadne is there with her. The basic plan is to reactivate the Inferni Diadem and use its power use it to power your ship's weapons. I understand. With that kind of power enhancing our energy cannons, we'll be able to take out Apollyon. Very well. We have we also have coordinated a plan for destroying all the teleporters simultaneously. We will need your assistance to make it work. What do you need us to do? Come with us aboard the Arcanus. We will tell you our plan on the way to Recultra. Sounds good. Let's go, girls. After we inform the elemental mistresses of our plan to take down the teleporters, they agreed to it. After the meeting, I noticed that everyone seemed to find someone for some kind of comfort. Whether it was the comfort of a lover, a family member, a friend, or just to have someone to stand with you in, companion, in companionable silence, it made me realize something. No one in any of our meetings mentioned any mentioned trying to rescue Galena. I know why, of course. They were all thinking the same thing, more than likely, that she was gone. Somehow, I knew they were wrong, that she was still alive, but I would not bring it up. Their spirits were high, and I did not want to bring them down. My thoughts then turned to what was in my immediate future, and that was the prospect of seeing my mother for so many after so many years. I did not know what was worse, confronting Apollyon or seeing my mother. Probably the latter. We're all waiting for you at the Leadership House, Magus, when you're ready, of course. Alright, we're about to come across a really, really cool part of the game. Let's talk to people. We've lost quite a few people to that damn Ganari over in the mountains. Mining stopped because of that creature. Yeah, we'll be dealing with that later. I think it's too powerful for me right now. The Cora Quakes around here are getting steadily worse. I do need items. Specifically, I need Garrett and Feathers. Okay, we're good. You're good on the Garrett and Feathers. Oh, I've already gotten that. Alright, let's, uh, let's go in here. Magus. Mother. I... I just wanted to say... Unless it has to do with the business at hand, then I care not to hear those next words. No, not this time, Magus. I have something to say, and you will hear it. I was horrible to you when you were growing up, and I know that. I also know that you resent that I'm even alive still. You are not telling me anything I do not already know. <sighs> I knew what was going to happen with to you when I started reading the Nigerian prophecies, Magus. You knew? Yes. I knew even more about you than your father did. I knew you were going to eventually be given Hazizus' divine blessing, and so I had to prepare for that. Why did you not tell me? 
Why the facade? I knew, once that happened, that you would be the son of the dark god Hazesis, not my son. At least that's what I told myself. It's why I was so cold to you and your father. I would not have tried to kill you, mother, even during that time in my life. It was within my blood to challenge father, not you. You were mistaken to feel that way. I realize that, Magus. I hope my actions now will speak for themselves in that regard. There is nothing you can say or do that will alter the past or how it molded into me into what I am today. However, your actions and those of the elemental mistresses have assisted me and my comrades greatly. If you can continue on this course, we may be able to start anew. That's even more than I dared hope for, mages. Thank you. Indeed. Let us turn our attention to Apollyon and the Abyssal Teleporters, yes? All right. I take it that you were informed by the elemental mistresses of our plan. Yes, we were told to reactivate the diadem, and then fuse it with the flight crystal to greatly enhance the strength of our energy cannons. They also have a plan to take out the enemy teleporters, Lady Shara. To take them all out simultaneously, they need our help. According to Ariadne, there are five teleporters located around the world. You're going to need to split up into different parties. I have to point out that there are only four elemental mistresses. How are we going to take out the fifth teleporter and sync with the others? Since I am the one that unsealed them, I will have to come with you all. I have forged a unique bond with them, and so I am able to hear their thoughts. Grandmother, you're coming with us? Look, not to put too fine a point on it, but you're not exactly a spring chicken, Shara. I know I'm a bit older, but I can hold my own in battle. I helped Kadar and Ariadne earlier in a battle against Abydos. I think I can handle it. No objections, Emperor? If there is one thing I am sure of when it comes to any Lee, it's their ability to fight, no matter the age. Now tell me more about this encounter you had earlier. Where is Kadar? What happened to Ariadne? Where is the diadem? I seal the abyssal essence within your sun, Magus, but it will always fester there until Anto is killed. After that, Abydos teleported here and tried to kill us. I assisted your son and Ariadne in fending off that attack. However, when Abydos began to teleport away, Ariadne went after him, and she hasn't been seen since. The diadem is safely here with me. Ariadne gave it to me in case anything like that happened. As for Kadar, I wanted him to stay and see you all, but he wanted none of that. Considering what he has done, he feels that until he atones for it, he will not be able to look any of you in the face. He mentioned he was going on some sort of quest to redeem himself, and that was the last I saw of him before he left. I see. Shara, can you do what you did for Kadar for any other Scytherin's people? It depends on the severity of their Scytherin's state, but I could try. I am only one woman, though, and there are only so many I could perform the right for. Of course, let me ask you this. Could you channel the energy from that right into a large vessel of some sort? In theory, it ought to work. Why? Isis, you're brilliant. I see where you're going with this. As do I. You mean to have Shara focus the energy of that right into a large cannon and fire it into the sky, don't you? Yes, exactly. We can build an extremely large energy cannon, fire the collected energy from Shara into the sky, and once it mingles with the clouds, it'll create a massive storm that will cause a sweeping rain to occur worldwide. Every single Scytherin's individual who is out in that will be affected by that energy. What about the people who are indoors? I can attend to those people myself, and I may even be able to teach the right to Dasan so she can assist me. I would be honored, Grandmother. Okay, so let me get all this straight. We're going to try and take out Apollyon after reactivating the diadem and fusing with the Arcanus's flight crystal. That fusion will enhance our ship's energy cannon so that we can damage it. At around the same time, we'll have split off into separate groups around the world to drop the Revenoth's blood into each teleporter simultaneously. Each group will have one elemental mistress attached, and Shara will help head up the fifth group. You've got it so far, Syria. If we happen to survive any of that, then we in initiate the plan we just discussed to restore the Scytherin's people around the world. That's the overall plan. Well, you know what they say, go big or go home. I, for one, can't wait to get started. This plan is extraordinarily dangerous, has very little chance of success, and is one that any sane individual would walk away from. Ah, what the hell. If I'm going to go out, I'd rather, be, I'd rather it be trying to make a difference than living to see the end of it all. So we're agreed, then. Give me the diadem, Mother. We're going to head for Zenith Kess now to reactivate it. Here you go, Mages. And we get the Inferni diadem. Once you've activated the diadem, come back here and speak with me. Alright, well, we got some shit to do first. Notice Magus is alone. Let's talk to them. Here, I found this earlier. I can't use it, but I hope you can. And I get a skill scion. 
I found this while traveling earlier. You ought to take it. Might be helpful. Just be careful. It's a bit hot. And it's also a skill sign. Even though I happen to like shiny things, I figure I ought to give this to you. At least you can use it. There's an attribute scion. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I wanted to give you. It's a bit wet, but it ought to still help you out. And an attribute scion. Let's talk to him again, actually. The tieflings that were living in Zynath Cast were recently wiped out by the Abyss, from what I saw in the viewing sphere in Riotus Tower before it stopped working. We'll be here guarding Shara until you get back. Once the diadem is activated, come back here and speak with me, Magus. May the Honorable Darkness guide thee, my son. Don't worry, nothing will happen to Shara while we're here. Word around here is that someone built an arena on the island of Infernus. Might be something worth looking into later. Okay. Alright, so... What you really want to do is start upgrading your characters because you're going to need to use all of them. So that's what I'm going to do here. So, before I go to sign with Cass. So let's take care of that immediately. Let's go below deck. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Riggs and Josiah with me. There is no greater honor than to be called upon to fight alongside you, Emperor. My life for the glory of the Khazarath Empire. Emperor, I am privileged to fight by your side. And I'll just grab Anduin, too. I will avenge you, Reyna. I swear it with everything I am. We want to get Riggs and Josiah upgraded. Um, which I think I could do at... I want to say Obsidian Rose. I forget where. Well, let me head to Kazarth first, because it might actually be there. I forget where you upgrade them. I mean, the first time it was in Zelonia, but let me check Tezeroth. There's, there's towns where you can upgrade their equipment. Oh, fuck your mother. It's going to be a bit of a longer episode as I get this done, because the next episode is going to be where I head to Zionist Cast and do all that stuff. I know we're at. The last one was short, so... Not the pub, um... I wish I could remember where it is that you upgrade. It might be here. Yeah. No. No, oh, you're gems. Alright. I'll just go everywhere until I come across. Well, let me upgrade Anduin right now, then. I'm going to upgrade Shadow's Bane. go. And we'll get plus two to agility. And plus two to defense. You see, he doesn't use a lot of skills. He's all physical. Okay, there we go. Plus three to luck. Plus five to maximum hit points. Might have been magic points. Plus two to magic defense. No, that was hit points. This will be magic points, I think. No, plus two to attack power. Okay. Ooh, I never did that. Plus one to attack power. Alright, so he's fully upgraded. I'm trying to remember where it is that you could upgrade them. I know you can upgrade them a second time. Oh, that's just the house. What the hell am I thinking? Oh, dude, get out of my way. Go in here. It might be here. Let's check. Ah, there we go. Okay. So he also learned power slash level two. We'll do it for Josiah. Okay. So we'll come back from time to time. Well, I don't really use rigs and Josiah, but you want everybody upgraded for this spot. That actually takes care of them. Alright, so it, it was at Kazarath. Okay, cool. So 
So we'll go back to the airship, get some other characters, upgrade them as well, new weapons, new armor. Because this next part can be kind of hard if you don't upgrade, and this is the chance you get. Because once you're thrust into the part where you split everybody up, the cyan grid is deactivated for a while, uh, because, well, it, it was causing some major glitches, so we had to deactivate it in that particular part. All right, but let's uh, let's get uh, let's get some other characters. Okay, Aubriel. Let's take Desiree and Krista with a C. No, it's Krista with a K, right? No, it's Krista with a C. I was right. All right I'll just use the Cyan Grid right here to upgrade them. Great Saber of the Empire. I don't have enough level 4 Scions to get everybody leveled up, but... Let's see, there's Power Core, Power Curse, plus 3 to maximum magic points. Ignis, plus 1 to magical attack power. Ignis Sight. Agility Curse, and plus 1 to defense. All right, let's go over to Desiree. Okay, Twilight Star is up to level three. And do level four as well. Okay, so there's Frigis Force. Plus five to maximum hit points. Plus two to magic defense. And Frigis Barrier. Plus two to magic defense. Thunarum barrier. Plus three to defense. Plus two to attack power. And Thunarum force. All right, and let's go over to Aubriel. You definitely want to make sure she's upgraded because you only have like three healers. So. Balen Dagger level 3. Oh, yeah, okay. Magic attack power. I didn't realize that wasn't done. On level 2 there. Plus 1 to magic defense. Plus 2 to defense. Shroud. Plus 10 to maximum hit points. Curena. Plus five to maximum magic points. Now I believe I am now out of um, level four wisdom scions, but there's people that haven't been upgraded to level three, so we will be working on everybody here. Okay, Krista with a K, come with me. I didn't read what she said. Andrea, I think I'm hungry. To spray the blood of my enemies all over me. Mm, just thinking about it gets me so bothered. Oh, you're a twisted one. Where's Majara? There we are. And that'll be everybody. Alright, Majara, because you're a healer, I wanna... I don't think... Let me see. Oh, hey, I do have one more level 4. Okay, I'll use it on Majara. So she's level 3. Level 4. Okay, plus one defense. Pyrocyte. Curena. And I'm out of attribute science. That sucks. Okay, you get plenty more, but, you know. Let's do Drea. I have no more attribute science, though, so... It's actually kind of pointless to do that, because I would need attributes to get at the skill there. All right. Well, think about Drea. She's pretty powerful already, so we don't have to worry too much about her. All right. So I'll put together my normal party, which will be um, uh, series on the wall. I hate when that happens. Usually happens to Majara. We can't figure that shit out. It doesn't happen that often, though. So sorry if you see that happen. Um. 
Uh, hopefully that'll be fixed by the time you see this. So Zeria... Oh, Dasan's down there. Dasan. And I want Isis. Where is she? She's up there. But I'm going to stop here. I will see you guys soon. More Chronicles of Dark Lord. Episode 2. More of the Abyss.